wherever in the world you are, you are very welcome to this F1 World event. We have a brilliant contest ahead. At least it looks like that from the talent involved. Seven rights and just three left-handers make up the 10 corners of this high-speed circuit. Turn two is flat out, a left-hand kink into the uphill braking zone of turn three. Turns one, three, and four are all potential opportunities to overtake. The drivers lining up under the watchful eye of the giant steel bull. This place is a wonderful monument to the history and legacy of Red Bull in motor racing. Delighted to be joined by former Formula One driver Anthony Davidson. What a moment for this driver, Ant. It's their debut. What advice would you be giving them? Well, you're absolutely right, Alex. You do only get that one debut, and I'll never forget my first race in Formula One. You know, the spotlight is on you, and it's your time to deliver. You've got to look back to the career you've had to get you here. You're in the right direction. You're on the right path. This is your platform to showcase your talents. And yes, it's nerve wracking, but you know what to do as a driver. It's still the same process. Your steering wheel, two pedals and gears. Just get out there and do what you do best. Take and burn off some of this energy.
Oh, that was just brilliant. Super clean, and we got the win. Well done. A nearly flawless performance here then, and a commanding victory. Tell me, Ant, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. They were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs, and that's allowed them to get the best out of the car, to maximise the strategy, and to stay out of trouble. The faces on our top three look so incredibly happy as they make their way up to the podium. A much-deserved victory and a brilliant performance from them all. of a spicy narrative, but I feel that that race today has set some events in motion. Join us next time for some more F1 World action. Nice one, you've just earned an upgrade. Upgrades can be equipped to your F1 world car and will increase your tech level. The higher your tech level, the more events you'll be able to take on, so it's important to equip upgrades whenever you can. Upgrades can be equipped in the garage, so it's worth going there now to equip your new upgrade. This is your garage. As you play F1 World, you'll earn upgrades, which can be equipped here to improve your tech level. Upgrades are split into car parts and team members. Team members require a contract in order to be equipped. As well as improving your tech level, upgrades also confer gameplay mods that change how your car and team perform on track. OK, new items you've acquired appear here. So we've got some, so let's go and open them and see what you got.
When you're equipping a new team member, you need to provide them with a contract. Each contract bestows a bonus mod upon that team member and lasts for a fixed number of events. When that contract expires, all of that team member's mods will be disabled until you give them a new contract. Note that if you replace a team member or their contract, their current contract is destroyed, no matter how many events were left on it. You know the deal, it's F1 World. It's gonna be thrilling, it's gonna be exciting. You're gonna hear a lot of noise from me. Let's get this party started. Straddling the border of Northamptonshire and Buckinghamshire, the 18 corners of Silverstone Circuit form the 3.6 mile beating heart of Formula One. It's been reinvented over the years with Turn 1, now the fast right-hander of Abbey, but the magic of racing is as strong here as it's ever been. Some of the best turns in motor racing ahead for the drivers. Maggots, Beckett, Chapel, Cops, evocative names everywhere you look, but the first battle is keeping it on the racetrack. There are positions to be gained in the early moments. Anthony Davidson joins us for this one, and they have a slower car than the opposition today. Can they still be competitive? Now it's time to get your elbows out, Alex. You know, it's, it's, you've qualified well, you're clearly in a better position than some of your rivals in better machinery. So enjoy this moment. Enjoy the fact that they're gonna have to work hard to get past you. Just because they're in a better car doesn't mean it's gonna be easy from their side. So yeah, get stuck in and, uh, and try and deliver uh, the best job you can do, um, but also knowing that if you do get overtaken, it's not the end of the world. In a way, it was inevitable anyway, so there's nothing to lose.
you've got a lot of spare energy, OK to use your overtake button. in here on the pit wall. That was super clean and we got the win. Plenty of action then here in Silverstone. A memorable race and an impressive victory. Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalize on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. A show-stopping performance from the three drivers approaching the podium right now. It's been an interesting Grand Prix, that's for sure. for F1 World today. It's been a great contest. We have a worthy winner. Join us again next time.
Well, hello and welcome to this F1 World event. We have new venues, new drivers, and plenty of excitement guaranteed. We have 16 corners here at Yas Marina Circuit, seven to the right and nine to the left. It's a total lap distance of 3.28 miles, two long straights and overtaking opportunities throughout the lap. And we expect average lap speeds of around 123 miles per hour. Stirring moments down there on the grid. All of the drivers obsessing over that run down to turn one and how it is going to impact their F1 world journey. Who is going to be on the top step today? Anthony Davidson is joining us for this one and the driver is operating at a lower level than others here. Is that going to be too much of a challenge for them? Well, Alex, I mean, I've been in that position many times in my career in uncompetitive machinery and you have to reorganize in your own brain what success is. And for me, it was always fighting the direct cars around me. And that becomes a regular thing as the season goes on. If you can beat those cars more often than not, then you know you're doing a good job behind the wheel and that's really where you get the satisfaction from. Battery charge is high, let's use that overtake button a bit more.
now use DRS. DRS now available. We got the win and you did it cleanly. Incredible. You can't 
fault the performance on track today. A well-deserved victory. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Here comes your top three, making their way down to the podium for what can only be described as a fantastic day for Formula One. And that concludes another joyous contest out there on the racetrack. We'll see these drivers back again. Hope you can join us next time for more F1 World Action.